right, we are in this thing for another week. What's going on with y'all? What's up? Man, happy Saturday morning. What's going on, y'all? What's happening? I hope everybody's doing well, man. It's your boy, Captain Trips. We are locked in for another moment, morning of college football excitement. If you've never caught this stream before or this video series before, what we're doing is we're having our college football road to glory and our college football dynasty uh, modes, and we're playing them out week by week. The way that we're saying everything is going, we've got a high school coach and his star quarterback from Chattanooga, Tennessee, matriculate up to college at the same time. Vontae Hubbard, the quarterback, goes to Wisconsin where he thinks he's going to steal someone's starting job. It doesn't really work out like that. Right now, Vontae is riding the bench. Um, Tyler Van Dyke is so far ahead of him when it comes down to the coach's trust that I don't think we'll be getting onto the field for, for much until we either have a blowout game and or um, graduation for Tyler. Coach Brick down at Kennesaw, however, is literally just trying to convince top-notch recruits to come to his school. Now, I... I I'm still trying to get the hang of dynasty mode. So there are some things when it comes down to the recruits that I should be doing that I don't know yet. Um, I don't mind assistance, but don't try to backseat me completely. Um, if you see me doing something weird in my recruiting, let me know. Uh, and I'm here for all that. I, I, let me know what I'm doing wrong. But we're going to get to our college football, what I'm calling All-American Gridiron, pretty shortly here. Um... First things first, let's go ahead and um, hit this practice. I've started to do the practice because it's good for me. Yeah, but I stopped blocking each other. I might have to dink and dunk a little bit. But we are going to go for it. Come on, man. Catch that goddamn ball. There we go. You know, Vontae got to make these noises. Field a block for you, bro. Real quick. Let's get that silver. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Not as good as we've done in the past, but it's not bad. It's not bad. So all we have to do is perform well in practice um, because we don't play on the game day and we just move that coach trust up where we can. Again, we're halfway to where Tyler Van Dyke, the starter, is currently at on that coach trust uh, board. So we got to get there one way or another, right? 
Um, the way I've been trying to earn a coach's trust is to just focus. That's how we get ready for game day. That's about all the action Bonte sees usually. But let's see what happens during this uh, Big Ten game. I may play because it's a blowout. 21 in the first quarter is wild. Okay, we get on the field. Just to run a running play. I did watch my drop strap. Got to. Got to make sure we're clean every week. Yeah, I don't really know where Northwestern is, but you ain't lying. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the Bro, y'all just going to let me run the ball? So the thing about it was when you do get on the field, you basically get told what play to run. Then you only have a certain number of um, opportunities to call it audible. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? He'll pull it on the read. Now, All right, so we took it in for the, the option, and we earned Coach's trust. Now he wants us to do a passing play. The Badgers come to the line with a new set of downs. Off play action on first down. Boom. Wide open downfield. They bring him and so to kind of just like show you we are the player we are controlling so the camera stays with him even after the pass but what we're trying to do is earn enough positive plays to generate positive coach trust that was a medium pass completion so we earned 20 coaches trust there we only have six opportunities to change the play call so we want to make sure we do that at smart times Try to get it in with the run. Brought down at the seven after picking up three. Come on, coach. Y'all can't keep doing this to me. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Tries again to get it in. He'll be brought down at the five yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Cutting it close now with third and goal upcoming. Looking to throw, it's Hubbard. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. Touchdown, Wisconsin! Boy, I was I was gonna run out of out of room. They're now in really good shape <laughs> So Vontae got his first on the field the action, and it's a touchdown. Salt into her wound, right? Late in the fourth quarter. You can run the football, run this game out. No, sir. I'm gonna continue to pad my stats, find my receipt. So as you see right here, 100% completion, 25 passing yards. We increased our coach trust by 215 just with that one drive. And that's pretty much what we're doing. What up, Nitz? Hey, how are we doing? Happy Saturday. Got my Panera bagel and my coffee ready. And so pretty much now they just want to run the clock out. 
They have dropped a hush on this entire stadium, David, by controlling this game. Ooh, and that's nice. Like that's a nice run. Crowd. I can't even lie to you, brother. Like having a big lead in the fourth quarter, Palmer. Um, I have free Panera rewards, so thank you. I appreciate it. Take everything from the practice field this week. Well, you in my pocket more than I. Game day. They've been locked in all week with the game plan. But nah, I do need to be making better uh, financial choices. Especially at this point in time. But I've been door dashing my ass off. I've been trying to put a little bit of extra money in my pocket here or there, wherever I can. And so, yeah. Um, I, I wanted a little Panera. So I got some Panera. Last night was hard, though. It was like, damn. I could get something to eat on a Friday night like I usually would. Or I could make these chicken wings. And so we made some chicken wings last night. Yeah, I'll say they're not the most aesthetically pleasing uh, meals from what I've seen, but the bagels, yeah, you can't lie about them bagels, dog. And the defense is still fighting. They haven't had the day that they... When you know you have a team outclassed, I get the, the, the cinnamon crunch bagel, fire. Like this is really impressive. And it's almost like playing against yourself, right? You know you're better. You know Nitz, I wouldn't be able to tell you what the context game, was. That man is, um... Execute. This, this was so easy. Great execution. Uh, just beat down... He'd be on some shit. I think as a player, you just love being in such great rhythm. And we saw that right from the get-go in this game. Offense just... That cinnamon crunch bail is the shit, boy. Field. Defense was not giving anything up. Dio, they have this new thing now? Coming in, and this was just total dominance. Where imagine a um a cinnamon roll. Then they put icing on top of the cinnamon roll as one does the cinnamon roll. And then they cut up a cookie and put that on top of the icing on top of the cinnamon roll. That's a little bit much to me. To me. So Vontae got some on the field action. Boom. And you see how much that helps with the level up right there? And the coach trust. Venom, I think it's a little too much. Just look at the pictures because they've got like a, a regular chocolate chip cookie. They've got that like M&M cookie. And then they got like a fudge brownie all on top of a cinnamon roll. The cinnamon roll already looked like it's whack, to be honest with you. The cinnamon roll by itself looked whack. Then they put all that on top of it. It just can't be good. And I'm a person who, I love sweets. I'll house a quarter dozen, a quarter of a dozen cupcakes in the evening. Oh, that bagel? Yeah, the bagel's official. The cinnamon crunch bagel is official. Yes, sir. All right, so my first time on the field. Let's go, Vontae. Let's go, Vontae. A quarter of a dozen a quarter of a dozen come on now don't don't ignore the quarter golly y'all trying to big back the big backer audrey our classmate hey a couple of my friends are throwing a party want to go with me the only thing is we'd probably stay out late since it starts at midnight don't the players have a curfew on the week of a game Yeah, I'm going to decline, baby. We get on the field nowadays. I would love to, but I just got here. I would hate to make a bad impression on the coaches this early. That's what I'm talking about, Vontae. We just touched the field, my dog. You see how it goes? You just get on the field. Does somebody want to mess you up? A baker's dozen or an actual dozen? Either or. A quarter of that number I would eat in an evening. Three. And a third. Baker's Dozen is 13. Don't do that. Don't do that. Baker's Dozen is 13. Come on, man. <laughs> this man trying to say a Baker's Dozen is 16. Since when? When since when? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Three and a third. D 
Oh shit, he caught that. Let's go. Mm, okay, that makes sense. You, I, I would cut it. I, I'm the type of person that I, I would cuddle mine. She ain't even trying. I should have slang that over the top. All right. I'm just gonna dump it. I be forgetting I have a whole third man on on the fucking field next to me. Dog, how you let somebody from behind you? Ho you. Y'all trying to make it so I don't get back on the field. Here we go. Nigga said, oh, he threw a touchdown. We can't let that stand. Yeah. Go stretch out for that thing. Hold on. That didn't sound right. Let me get my bronze. Let's go. Zip, zip, zip. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Get out there, boy. Yeah, because they wasn't gonna let him come across the field in front of me. I'll take that. Do the noises help? Nah, I don't think they do. <laughs> they make me feel more confident about the throws. I don't know if they make they make Vontae feel more confident about the throws. <laughs> it's like, why are you yelling in my ear so early? All right, Miami, I need y'all to do the thing. Whoop they ass now. Whoop they ass, Miami. Come on now. All right, what are we doing this week? Of course, y'all already know. Vontae don't play about his academics. I'm also going to do a little bit of the branding. We ain't got no NIL right now. Dare I say we didn't take advantage of the one we had when we had it. And so I could do, we got into the game last week, so I don't want to do XP and then have a higher risk of injury. So fuck it. We just gonna get closer to being ready for exams. All right, same thing. Now this is a ranked team. Penn State is ranked number three. So it should not be an easy one battle for anyone one way or another. So I may not play this game and that's fine because again, I am the backup. They're evenly matched. Could we upset? Let's see. Welcome everyone to the home of the Wisconsin Badger, Barry Alvarez. What y'all eating for breakfast? Camp Randall Stadium, where we are looking forward to a fantastic battle. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off a of bye week, the Penn State Nittany Lions. Taking on a fellow Big Ten foe, the Wisconsin Badgers. 48 Sports College Football. What's the difference between a regular lion and a Nittany Lion? So yeah, he didn't get on the field on this one because... Oh, we won! We beat a ranked team. Let's go! Tyler, let's go! I can't even be mad. They got to the top and they get a landmark win. And we know coaching staffs. The halfback. All right, 20 rushing attempts, 100 yards, one touchdown. If I was your quarterback, you would have got more yards, buddy. I wouldn't tell you that. They came out. They were the more physical team. Yeah, Vice. No worries. No worries. I know you got things to do. Love to the family, man. Thank you so much for coming through. Our team's a really good team. You want to build on that? You beat good teams. That's what you do. That's what's up, man. They beat a ranked team, boy. Let's go. Got some momentum. It's because I touched the field. That's what it is. It's because Big Vontae on campus now.
All right, we'll advance. Boy, they just ruined Penn State season. I know that much. Okay, well, have fun with it. If you, even if you can't get to it tonight, and it's you know, if you're toward the end, that's all that matters. Um, hope you enjoy. And are you going to be streaming game development? Because, you know, we'll definitely come in kicking the door, waving the fofo. -fo. You want to drive together for a morning government class this week? Got to love these 8.30 a.m. lectures. Um, agree to drive together. Yeah, remind me to never take a morning class again. I feel like if you got a teammate that say, let's go to class, you're at NASA. I really enjoyed that, that little break in the action in the game. So hopefully you enjoy Well, well, hey, enjoy development in the nude, as is your right. X was never gonna get open, boy. I need some crossing routes. Beep, beep, beep. We'll take that. We'll take that every time. Even though it's 350 here, 200 here, that is better than nothing, I'll say. And we don't know what Tyler's doing. We can go and look at what Tyler's doing this week when we go to our weekly activity. But we on the up and up. All right, so weekly agenda. Let's look at the coach trust right now. We got 2983. Tyler has 5600. Again, we're not as far. <laughs> and look at the third string. Third string got negative 1000. God damn, Brayden. Brayden, what did you do? What did you do? Brayden is the type to say, "Yeah, fuck that class. I ain't going." Okay. Shout out to him, I guess. All right, let's go back to the weekly agenda. We got stuck. Yeah, Braden, he might be on that powder. For all we know. All right. Exams in five weeks, so I can stand to lose a little bit of that. But uh, I love having the coach trust go up when you hit certain like like levels here. 
coach trust, the team XP, all that goes up. So we're going to ride this. Um, and then, you know, let's go ahead. Wisconsin versus Iowa. Now we're going to play weeks 10 and 11. We're going to stop it at 12 because, of course, when we get on the dynasty side of the ball, we got to play those games and it takes a little bit longer. But our boy saw action for the first time today. I, I'm happy to see that. I guess coach was like, hey, the only way you getting on this goddamn field is if I trust you the X amount. And we hit that. When you arrive at Kennick Stadium, you know what's in store. Hard nose, toughness, defense, and you better bring your hat and be ready to strike somebody when you come into this black and gold cauldron to take on the Hawkeyes. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on. I don't know, coming out holding hands doesn't drive me to this, like fear y'all. Y'all coming out holding hands like we're together. Another team from the Big Ten. That doesn't make me afraid of y'all. Yeah, I know they didn't want to take that chance. College football changes, realignment, all of that kind of stuff. Rivalries are consistent and winning rivalry games, well, that's just the best. Because they hate each other so much. So you take the Wisconsin and Iowa, okay. It makes sense that those two teams have a rivalry like that with the actual trophy and shit. And look at Tyler going on 238, 64%. Two touchdowns. Can't even be mad at that guy. Tyler is a, a solid player. We picked the wrong school. We should have went to Auburn if we were really trying to win that job. But I feel like, me personally, I always play in the SEC when it comes down to certain games. I got Georgia State in the SEC now. I didn't want to continue the SEC route. I wanted to see some new teams. So Big Ten, I don't have no issue with. Issue that that boy Tyler is good. That boy Tyler is good. Lila Bobina, my dog, my round. How are you? Howdy, duty girl. What's going on with you? I'm fantastic. Ain't you getting ready for TwitchCon? Shout out to you, man. Got your cosplays ready, washed. Hey, dude, we're in the same geology night class. My friend's a TA and gave me a sheet with the answers of the, to the test this week. You want it? Now, nah, Vontae would probably use the answers. Nah, I'm just gonna study. Don't wanna get caught. And that GPA's gotta increase. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, good, good, good. I want I want you packed and calm this week. Oh, so there is no game this week. Damn, y'all. Damn, Vontae's not getting on the field this week. But it's fine. We're gonna do what we can do. Okay, I didn't even notice they had all this shit. Okay, come on. Okay, I, I definitely got to get the hell out of there. Vontae, you quick, but you ain't that quick, my boy. Oh, this shit is horrible. That's the only one I can get open. Vontae, I'm going to need you to scramble a little bit better than that one. Shit, that was horrible. No coach trust earned. That was a waste. 
That was a waste. It, it is fine because I feel like those are things we're going to need to get better at anyway. And he need to learn how to scramble a little bit more, my boy. God damn. Yeah, damn. All right, we have four weeks to the exam, so I'm going to fuck around a little bit. I ain't going to lie to you. Damn, I should have got the XP. Boom. So this is where we'll start next week. We'll start at week 12. All right, so we're a fan favorite. Got upgraded to silver. And Wisconsin is ranked 22nd. So we in there, y'all. We in there. Bowl projections? Let's look. Las Vegas Bowl versus Cincinnati. Okay. Okay. We'll take that. That's one of those weekend before Christmas games. A six and three record will get that to you. So no worries. No worries. Avante, you are on your way, my boy. Brick's house. So as you may remember, last week we got our our second quarterback couldn't get the guy we wanted it's fine but now we need to start making some signings I don't want to like screw the pooch with any of my big recruits I'm looking at right now so these younger guys, I need to just get on their radars. I'm saying younger, but in actuality, I kind of just mean. All right. <clears throat> so now we have 50 hours. Um. We're his second. How do we how do we get up the list, brother? Again, we can't get him on half this shit, bro. I'm gonna have to just use this one. Aspirational, see if that works. Zach Bunting is who I want here. Let's just hope that works. Well, you don't want get out of here then. Get gone. You don't want to play here? We don't want you to play here neither. All right, we're his second. And a distant second, too. He's gonna have that um visit with the other school before he comes to us. So what could we do? I'm going to get rid of the DM player and see if we can soft sell him.
And right now, as you see, I am going for the ones that have gems next to their name. Because I need to get in here. We're his first, so I don't necessarily feel the pressure. I would like to schedule him for something, though. I don't think we're gonna make it with Buddy right here. <laughs> I said nah, bro. <laughs> let me book. Let me book this visit. Fuck you. You ain't coming to my school anyway. I'll DM him or some shit. That's it for recruiting. Every week I use all my hours and just try to get in where we fit in. But let's look at the top stories. Um, we're not in the running for shit, as y'all can tell, Kennesaw. But we're going to make it do what it do. Anyway, Middle Tennessee game. Let's go. I'm serious about that offense only, boy. How's y'all Saturday going? Oh. Tennessee and Johnny Red Floyd Stadium, home of the Middle Tennessee Blue Raiders. Raider fans have been clamoring to get this one started all week. And this one, two teams from Conference USA squaring off in a weekday clash to set the table for the weekend ahead. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Kennesaw State Owls. Taking on the winners of four straight, the Middle Tennessee Blue Raiders. Four EA Spartans stumbling around a bit earlier this season. They put together three consecutive wins and seem to have righted the ship. We weren't right. stumbling. You, we lost one, one game, sir. Every coach talks about that. They dealt with it now. They, they got the loss. They had a little bit of struggle early in the season. They didn't even got a picture for him. Respond by putting a winning streak together, gaining some momentum as the season closes. And sometimes. All right, look at these plays. Come on now. Whoop. Early is that you know Whoop. you're not perfect. You have to come out. You've got to bring your A game to the park each and every week. And that's same what we've dude seen from this team now. Recently, they've got tremendous players. They got an outstanding coaching staff. When they put it all together and they play with great effort, this team's tough to beat. That's going to do right. it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, Alex ran that Fire thing up on them. Okay. This so this upcoming week, we have like at least one visit um, because our quarterback went somewhere else with his bitch ass. But well, we got a different quarterback now. We got our recruiting class is gonna pick up. If I can get enough three stars. Damn, Keon, you says. Well, that brand exposure. I don't know what you're supposed to do for that. <laughs> you gotta play more uh, games that are um, like on the radio or on television to get that brand exposure. But right now, Kennesaw just, they ain't got it. All right. So we do have one of the players of the week. Shout out. He ain't even a national. Okay, we'll take that though. Three rushing touchdown, one receiving touchdown, and he the backup, that's crazy. First things first, let's get over here into this recruiting. You're a y'all suck. James? Really, James? Y'all ass, bro.
All right, so we have more hours back, but again, I'm going after my big ones. Zach, what can I do, brother? He'll be here this week, okay. So he's definitely gonna sign after this week. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's anything else we can do with him. Because I want to get rid of this, because this is what helped us sway. So I don't really know what to do. He'll be here this week, though. So, cool. Where's the other dude? Zach Barnes. You'll be here this week, too, right? Good stuff. So, in the meantime, in between time, I'm going to go ahead and DM you. offer him because he's first like come on bro what am I doing against these like and keep in mind we only have so so much um, that we can do certain things just so I can give myself a little bit of leeway see and this would have been it the aspirational so that means we've already pitched him right We doing what we can, man. Do we need two quarterbacks? Yeah, we do. Okay. Sam Houston, okay. I'm gonna have to get him on the championship contender. can upgrade coaching skills i'm kind of torn off between these two right now recruiter and tactician
like later on we can do a program builder I don't know if we're gonna do national t title we might have to leave this school to get the national title I ain't gonna lie to y'all but look at our offensive coordinator trash We shouldn't all be the same archetype, though. I don't like that. Oh, never mind. That was me. So, bro, got the same exact setup that I do for the most part right now. But we'll take what we can. All right. So, with that being said, let's get into week two. what Kennesaw does this week. Welcome to Kennesaw, Georgia, in the greater Atlanta area and home to the Owls of Kennesaw State, where these fans have been eagerly anticipating this one all week. And this is the kind of game college football fans love, because they don't have to wait for the weekend for this Conference USA showdown. As we'll see a team... Oh, this must be a Thursday night game. I mean, it's super slow. to the offseason and they start having coaching clinics they're gonna roll this game tape back to show both offenses dial it up and let it run I mean, we do what we can what we saw in this game it didn't matter what either offensive coordinator was calling everything seemed to work through throwing the football in the intermediate passing game the rpos the run game david this was just clinical offensive football and offenses have evolved so much. They can do so many different things, and they know how to use their playmakers, get speed and space, make those big plays. So that's why you can't come to the Owls' nest and think y'all coming up with the dub. Different. Come on, bro. That's gonna do it. Liberty. Here for Jesse Palmer, Dave Pollock, I'm Liberty, Davis, Liberty, and this Liberty. Has been another presentation Liberty. of EA Sports College. Good stuff. Good stuff, gang. All right. Where does that take us? That takes us almost there. So we, we should level up one more time before we end um, the playthrough this week. 5136. That should be enough to get some of these recruits to lock in. I need to see some commits. Reggie, let's go. Zach, let's go. Zach, let's go. Come on, man. Come on, man. And we got two more targets that we've gotten to the top of their list now. So, cool. Brand exposure has now is now a C minus. It was a D plus a minute ago. So that game must have been somewhere. We getting there. We're getting there. C minus. Come on, bro. Defensive player of the week. Two sacks. Four tackles. Okay. Offensive player of the week, 20 carries, 198 yards, four touchdowns. Let's go. And Michael's the national offensive player of the week. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all let them know where Kennesaw's at. So our commits are committing. All right. Um, do we need two fullbacks? No, we don't need another fullback. We need a halfback, though. Mm. And so that's the thing. I got to keep coming back to this board here. I ain't going to lie. I be wanting the big dogs. We got an elusive back, targeting a power back. What about a receiving back? All right. I should get this other quarterback we have, huh? We'll, we'll sign him, so I'm not, I'm not super worried about that. Let's go back to our needs. 
um, we need to sign at least one of these right guards and right tackles. We need a left and a right. Okay. Some of these cats are like super open, but we need to figure out where we fit in. Like, it gotta be one that wanna rock with us, right? All right, take it back to the board. So let's do some scouting shit. That's the one. All right, Dwayne. I hope you're ready, son. Let me DM, DM him first. Oh, so we already went, uh, recruited, uh, scouted Juan. I'm sorry, Juan gotta come. This, at this point, Juan, we need you, brother. somebody to commit so it's got to be proximity to home it's the best thing to get them on right um I'm getting real stingy with the the scholarships and shit. But we do what we can, man. We got to do what we can. All right, so that's recruiting hours for this week. Let's look at the conference standings. So we second in the conference. Sam Houston is at the top. We about to whoop they ass in a minute. But let's put this foot in the Western Kentucky then. You know, we just march on. And after this game, we should level up so coach can get another opportunity to figure things out. Mm, mm, mm. Welcome to the fuck is that? Kentucky, home of Big Red and the Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky. We're expecting a full house and Big Red and the Hilltoppers to get things started. The and fuck kind of thing at the top of the hills in Kentucky? USA squaring off in a weekday class to set the table for the weekend ahead. Boy, you know your conference trash when y'all play during the week. The Kennesaw State Owls taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week. The Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. Mm, I hope y'all can prevent it because sometimes it seems like it's unpreventable. In the game. Sorry, so sorry. We thought it would be a high-scoring game, and it certainly delivered. If you love offense, then you love this type of game. 
both offenses going up and down the field seemingly three touchdowns shout out to him man that's my receiver halfback for the next year he's gonna have that shit going crazy Kennesaw gonna be jumping fucking with this dude he should be a preseason all-american coming into his senior year you got to stop late that's why you got the dub so that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. There we go. There we go. So come on. Let me get that level up. Let me get that level up. Yeah. All right. So we got to put those points to good use, right? Whew. All right. So what are we going to level up this time? Well, let's go forward in a week. Damn, Demetrius, that's how you feel? That's cool. All right, so let's upgrade these skills before we even do any recruiting. Um... That's, we gotta have that, right? We gotta have it to where the offensive line steps up. Mm. And then let's do running back. I don't know if we gonna win 10 top 25 games because I don't know if we ever gonna be rated. I don't, I don't think this is a rating type team to get to the next level. But can we sign some recruiting classes? Maybe. Maybe. But we'll have to wait till next time we level up. Now let's get into the recruiting. Oh, UTEP, that's gonna be lunch. We're gonna eat their lunch. Go ahead. Damn, Demetrius, I thought we were cool, bro. Fuck you. That mean I got I gotta put some stock into this nigga right here. Let's offer him a scholarship. And let's search his social media. I, I don't think I have to do much for him. We're pretty much almost all already there. soft selling I try to get three check marks like this would be perfect if the program tradition wasn't a D There are just some things that he doesn't care about playing style. So it doesn't matter if it's an A plus. He doesn't care about playing style or playing time. So I don't want two X's. But boy, some things we just try to hit him on that. Julius is rocking with us. Um, cool. Let's get him to come through for the. We're gonna get you on proxy and be the home too, brother. We're just gonna use what we can while we can.
I need you to sign, my dog. Dwayne, come on, bro. Oh, and he committed immediately. Didn't even need to do nothing else. What the fuck I'm talking about? So we're good on halfbacks. I don't even need to worry about you, Amani Oyemata. Give my shit back. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, man. All right, Mafu. I'm gonna give you a little bit more, my boy. All right, we'll take those. Yeah, it looked like D Harbor don't want to even play ball, so. I mean, I get it. It makes sense. It makes sense. Those are some some good schools you got there, my boy. All right, that's the recruiting for this week. That's all we got. All right, Coach Brick, let's take us home, my boy. They predicting go bowl games. Will we be in one? Let's see. Let's see. No. No, we ain't on this list. <laughs> oh, there we go. New Mexico Bowl. Kansas versus Fresno State. All right. They do a real good job. Like if you if you win your conference, you should be rewarded with something. Let's see how it turns out. Once again, I want to thank y'all for coming through Saturday morning. Games are about to start in about 45 minutes. I hope y'all got everything y'all need. Texas town of El Paso, the Sun Bowl, and home to the UTEP Miners. And it's always a pleasure to come out this way. What Samoans are going to UTEP, the man? We have in store. As we wind our way toward the end of another college football season, one of the grand traditions is paying tribute and respect to those who have just senior game. Okay. Boy, we about to ruin y'all senior day. And honor the seniors on senior day. As we'll see, the winners of five straight, the Kennesaw. They was they was trying to come back. Fireworks in this one, a lot of points. They always talk about having the chalk last, and it seemed like whoever was on offense had the last lap. Yeah, it's amazing how much offense has been just boom in college football. So good. Okay. So many ways to hurt you, and you saw both. That makes sense. Put on the show that makes guys. sense. That's so that's a good stat line. Coaching staffs and their defensive coordinators were losing sleep some great um to be a tough throwing attack. touchdowns, some great so rushes. Much, so much firepower on both of these offenses, and man, we but it's UTEP, that dog. That's going to do they it ain't playing us. nobody. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team. I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. We would have to beat people by like 90 or something like that to end up getting ranked somewhere. And that's not what I'm really trying to do. At least not right now. I don't feel like Kennesaw, this Kennesaw team deserves to be ranked, deserves to play in any like huge games. The bowl game at the end of the season, that's one thing. But like, keep it real. They shouldn't be nowhere near sniffing a, a playoff. Okay, and we already knew this guy was gonna commit somewhere else. Um, it is what it is. We'll fix that next week. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and take him off the board. Come on, Gabriel. Let me just take him off the board. That's the only thing I'm going to do. Take him off the board. So how many right tackles do we need? So we need one. So between them guards and them tackles. 
some got a shade. We need a left. Alright, I do have to get a left. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Damn, who y'all don't want us? They sure don't. Not nobody good, at least. All right, so we'll stop it here. Oh, I super appreciate y'all coming through every Saturday morning. Let's get the weekend started on a great note. Um, college football going well. The first season is wrapping up for both Coach Brick and and Vontae but that means next week we may be entering season two with these teams that means Vontae will be playing some games that's what the fuck I'm talking about I also still think the road to glory is really fast paced so it may not be as slow um as it may have been in, in or as quiet in recent weeks um, then we'll need to recruit in the off season for coach brick and then also set up a recruiting board for next season. Again, what I'm trying to do is get some three, some four stars possibly signed to the school so we can go ahead and start holding our own against bigger teams. Um, and it's going to take those bigger teams in order for us to get like some kind of recognition. Cause right now we playing some scrubs. UTEP, I, I ain't gonna lie. I, no, no disrespect against the minors, but they was really never in our, our league in the first place. So I'm looking forward to continuing this next uh, week with y'all. It should be a really, really good week um, on some college football note for us here. Really do enjoy it. Um, 